Hello Goofers. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about IDs for Go. So when it comes to uh, IDs for Go, we have lots of options really. Uh, my personal favorite is VS Studio Code. Basically, this is this is quite easy to use because I have been using it for other programming languages. And C, C++, we have seen like very nice support for Python, C Sharp, lots of extensions are available so yeah so similarly there is extension for go which you can easily download but before i jump into that uh, let's take a look into what other options are available for go uh, so another most uh, i would say interesting one is atom which i'm sure you would have encountered so far so that that is really a nice uh, editor and free obviously it's open source you can definitely try this one apart from that obviously you can see there is a big list you can always go for you know your uh, beloved eclipse if you're a you know eclipse lover and it does have a go plugin for eclipse and you can obviously continue developing on eclipse or uh, if you are new to go there is another interesting one called goland which is from uh, jetbrains the people who are behind uh, you know IntelliJ and stuff like that so it, it's it's quite interesting uh, I would say ecosystem for Go development you can literally work with Notepad uh, plus plus really you don't need very you know high-end editor sublime text is option there is another option uh, the free version obviously this is commercial text editor sublime text you can uh, probably look into the line text which is developed in Go and it is obviously free and open source uh, alternative basically for sublime text if you are a sublime lover then uh, there are obviously Vim and, uh, and, and Visual Studio is also available which is a commercial version but I think Visual Studio code will do for me uh, so if you just either click here go there so that this is where you'll get it you just download it once you have down once you have downloaded uh, you will get this icon you can move that uh, downloaded application into you know your max application folder where uh, here and so it will be available for the launch pad so here also you can then you can come and that VS studio all right so once you have that installed obviously if you're new to VS code I'll just cover a few basics you can go here this is extension tab where you can just go and type actually go and this first option as you can see is coming as go from Microsoft this is uh, the extension you can go for you can either install uninstall disable all the options are here it's pretty easy to uh, start with and you can obviously go through the instruction but basically it does just give you all the basic intelligence and code navigation kind of all, all basic editing features um, okay once you have done that you can uh, obviously set up your any source control here this is for debugging uh, if you want to search any files or anything you can search here if you want to okay so let's close this if you want to open your project folder you can come here and select your folder uh, okay let's open one one of my project here so this is how it looks like you can close this welcome page and as you would have noticed that recent option here the recent tab shows you all the options uh, recently you open if you if you're like I open my go tutorial project I can see it here so similarly you can see those recent option you can directly click here and jump into you know you can open your project right so once that is done uh, before we start uh, looking at this uh, let's see what other options are there like you can go here and see your visual studio code version i'm running 1.32 at the time of uh, recording you might see something else when you try but yeah more or less options will be seen so the next one is uh, if you look at here in the code option preferences you go settings here you will 
get all the options to select and you know change the font and any kind of you know other formatting and stuff like that you can change as per your choice really i'll go with default you can also change the background from black to something else so all the options are there and as you can see i have already installed the google so i can see the google plugin options here you can see all the shortcuts and everything but to be honest it's, it's pretty much simple uh, let's see how the google program looks like so this is how you you will see the go program in this editor you can see all the keywords are uh, you know separately highlighted in different colors it's quite easy to read and to run any any go program just click right right click and open terminal this will open here if i see pdd it brings me directly into the chapter room which is my folder so i can just give command go run Hello. and that's it once you do that you can see you can execute directly right here so that's how basically it works and i would say if i close this explore other option for debugging and you know there are different different settings available you can definitely go for it but the default one you know works really well for me so i would say this is really nice options to you know you can write the code and execute right here you can do command k to clean the screen and you can run any of the go program here that's it that would uh, that will do for me thank you